So, uh, sorry it's been <clears throat> so long since my last uh, video on R2. I've been uh, working on C3PO in the meantime, but back at R2 again. Uh, I've almost got all of the uh, lights, lighting systems done in the dome. Uh, the only thing left to do are the PSIs and uh, the magic panel. So um, PSI is what I've been focusing on and uh, this is what I put together. So uh, I've got my rear PSI's here, front one here, and then a couple other lenses. So for the lenses, um, I tried a variety of different things. Uh, I tried uh, printing these off in clear resin. So I made this honeycomb pattern. I didn't really like the looks of this when it's finished. Uh, here's the front one, it's a little bit thicker. <clears throat> And then I tried printing this in white resin uh, so the honeycomb went right through and then I put um, some milk carton diffuser on the front but you can always see the honeycomb quite clearly so uh, I didn't quite like that either. Uh, then I ended up deciding on this. This is a white resin. <clears throat> it's got one millimeter of honeycomb and then one millimeter of solid on the front. It's whitish in color. I'm not sure what the overall color should look like to be screen accurate, but uh, I think I'm done making a bunch of lenses. I can always pop out the lens. That's the beauty of this. So I could always put something else in there if I want. Uh, let's take a look at the front first of all. Uh, the front housing looks like this. I've made this bevel so that it fits in, inside of the dome. So the lens is flush with the uh, inside dome. So this lens sticks out one millimeter so that uh, it actually goes in and it sits flush uh, with the inside dome. Um, this, is, this can be glued in, but you could just place it there and then put this in your dome because the pressure would hold it all together because I have a variety of mounting holes for the uh, captive studs to go through. Uh, this is uh, got some threads on it and um, it's room for the PSI Pros. That These are Max Tang's PSI Pros. They're amazing. Um, so I <clears throat> created everything around these. I uh, highly encourage you to pick these up if you can on the Astromech site. So um, Skelmer came up with or created this model um, originally created by Max Tang to separate the rows of LEDs out. This is a baffle or a divider. So I copied his design and just changed the length of it a bit to, to suit um, my housings. They have a little notch, it's hard to see here, but there's a little notch right at the bottom there. And that's to accommodate these three little solder joints here. So what you do is you put these on and then Put this on and then snap it on and then it divides up all the LEDs. Um, I did paint one side of the dividers black. The other side I tried to leave white. It just helps um, keep all the rows separate when they're lit up. So it works mostly. Um, I probably didn't ever do a very, really good job in painting it but it's been a lot of work so I thought I'd just um, finish off there and then the back I've got a um, threaded cap that goes on so the way this works is you put this in here this gives you the option to turn it around while it's in the dome and get it set up the way you want it so the uh, baffles can can be upright and then you just screw on the backing come on there we go there, and it holds everything together. And uh, then the lens pops into the front. So at the end of this video, I'll show you a quick demo of how uh, both of these work. Uh, the rear is larger, obviously. Uh, on the back, there's a little arrow to show that that should point up because when it does, then these are strategically placed so that that um, front panel hides um, the captive studs and the lens for this sits pretty much flush with it. 
because this sits inside of the rear dome. And then same situation with uh, PSI Pros. Um, all you do is you just snap this on then you place this in here like that like that and then screw on the back there we go so there are my uh, front and rear PSI's I uh, probably could have resin printed these or something to make them a little bit look nicer I, I just airbrushed them you're never going to see them unless you have the dome off and looking inside the dome. So I didn't really care too much. Um, so anyways, they're finished. Um, coming up next, I'll show you uh, what they look like um, as they're lit up and uh, then stick around uh, for the end of the video for our thought for today. Thanks for joining me and uh, hope to see you next time.